Hey guys! Today I'm going to show you how to make some Barbie or doll jeans. Also, if you have requests for other clothes or doll accessories, feel free to leave them in the comments. Let's get started! You can use this technique to make jeans for basically any doll, just make sure that if you're making them for one with wider hips or larger butt, such as the Monster High dolls, that you're using stretchy fabric. The dolls I'm going to be using are from the Barbie Made to Move collection and you can find the videos for the repaints on my channel. The first thing I did was to measure from the center where I wanted the jeans to sit and then out to the side where the two molds of the plastic meet. I then measured halfway around the thigh right below the crutch and I measured halfway around the knee and the ankle. Using these measurements as well as the doll to get the right distance, I then made my pattern on a piece of paper. This technique will ensure that the pants or the jeans you're making will have the perfect fit. You want to make another one for the back side of the jeans and for this I just added some extra height to the waistband and I also added some extra room for the trunk. Trace these twice onto the fabric of your choice making sure that the second one is a mirror image of the first one. The grey fabric I used is some stretchy jean fabric I got at a fabric store. And for the blue jeans, I just repurposed an old pair of jeans from H&M. For the next step, I would definitely recommend using a sewing machine because we're going to be adding the decorative stitches. I first added two rows down the center, which is going to be on the outside of the side of the jeans. You then want to fold in and sew along the top and bottom of the pants. And then if you want, you can add some details for the pockets. Obviously, you can make real pockets if you want. I just want to keep this video super simple, so I'm adding fake ones. Next, you want to fold each half and sew along the leg up to where the crotch is. And then once you have that, you can sew those two halves together. For this part, I just hand stitched it. Flip it inside out and you have some basic pants. For some extra detail, I glued on an additional piece like this. Now to me, these were still a bit too plain, so I added some shading and highlights using acrylic paint mixed with fabric medium. Another way you can add some details is to simply take some sandpaper or a file and then use that to give it that worn look. However, you may need to make a small test piece because I found that some of these types of fabric end up looking more fussy than worn. As I mentioned in the beginning, if you have any requests for other clothes or doll accessories, feel free to leave them in the comments. To make the button, I just glued on a stud which is technically made for nail art and then painted it using alcohol ink and acrylic paint. And if you don't have these studs, you can also make one from pommel clay, cardstock, etc. And finally, to give it that ripped look, you can again just use a file or a craft knife.
Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next tutorial.